Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Maston to you you're back for another episode of Skate Chat Stories. In this episode, The Hunt. Now, I do have to say something. I did say I was going to make two Soma videos today. That's not happening because I'm staying at my pops, uh, staying at my granddad's pops, I don't know, <laughs> pops, staying at my pops and probably will only be able to upload one video the more. So, one video or so on the Mora. Oh, go away. Oh, yeah, turn off the turn off Wi Fi. So, all right, let's just go. Comixology is Amazon's premier digital comics, graphic novels, and manga reading experience. Go away. Amy, hey, where have you been? I haven't seen you all weekend. Creepy white van guy didn't find you, did he? Lol. Danielle. Hey, that's all I get is hey. What's wrong, Danny? Sorry, nothing. I've just been busy. I'm your best friend. What could possibly have you so busy that doesn't include me? Okay, that sounded uh, conceit. I don't know. But you know we do everything together. I met this guy online. We've been talking non-stop. He's amazing. Oh my God. Why didn't you say so? Just say so. So what's he like? Funny. Super hot. Like Justin Bieber hot. No, that's not hot. And he's a senior. You're into a, an older boy he, he's actually like as a freshman? What if it's a joke? It's not, okay? He's serious. He says when he graduate, graduates, we can be together openly because he w will be on his own. I don't know about this, Daniel. How do you know he's not a catfish? Stop hating on my relationship. He said my immature friends would act like this. I'm going to meet him soon. It's not a joke. First of all, I'm not hating on your fake boyfriend. He's probably butt ugly. Don't come calling back back to me when you see he's he's catfishing you. Next day. Amy, can we still be friends, please? I need your help right now. I don't know, Daniel. Do you still think I'm just jealous? And are you st so obsessed with your missing, your missing school for this guy now? So you, so you won't help me over one stupid fight. Are you okay? No, you were right. He's a psycho. Oh my God! What happened? Where are you? He met up with me at the park by my house. I recognised him from Halloween night, Amy. That was him. Wait, I'm lost. Who from Halloween night? The guy who kept creeping by the white van. The senior I was talking to was him. Oh crap. So it was like a prank or something. <coughs> no, he was dropping off a kid a few, from a few states away. What? How do you just drop someone off that from that far away? Like a, cous a little cousin or something? No, the kid's body. I told you, he's a total psycho. I'm trying to play along now. Will you come get me? Where are you right now? This better not, not to be a joke. Now be a joke. No, of course not. We're at a hotel. It's really, it's a really nice one. He lied about his age and being in school too. Why aren't you calling 911? Are you, aren't you scared? You shouldn't trust him enough to go to the hotel with this guy. He's a monster. I can fix him. I just need your help. Tell my mum I'm at, at your house. Dude, do you know how much trouble I would be in? No. You just asked me to come get you. Which is it? <clears throat> Please, Amy. You're supposed to be my best friend. He really needs my help to get better. You said he was straight crazy town just a minute ago. How can you help him? Oh, jeez. He explained it and I feel like I know him. That's ridiculous. How? Only I can fix this. He just has a lot, lot of pent up anger from his, from childhood. So, if I let him take some of it out on me, then he doesn't want to hurt anyone else so much. What the fuck? Do you see how crazy you sound right now? I'm, sh I'm not sure which one of you is crazier. Are you going to help or not? Help to get you hurt? I can take it. 
I know what I'm doing. You wouldn't give me anything I, I couldn't handle. Send me the address to where you are. Why? What are you going to do with it? Tell your mum and the police where you are. You're not safe. I wish you wouldn't have said that. I wish you wouldn't have said that. Stop being so stupid. He's not a good guy if he wants to hurt you. I wish you would have just listened. I could say the same to you, Daniel. I have to prove my loyalty to him. He may think I've turned on him otherwise. Are you high? Is this a joke? I mean, seriously. I'll see you soon. I'm so sorry. But it's your fault. What? Don't bring me into this. You should have just helped. What do you mean about seeing me soon? Are you leaving him? No. I told you I have to show him I'm serious about being with him and helping him. I'm sort of afraid to ask, but how? I have to lose someone I care about who would try to stand in the way I really care about you. Daniel, are you being serious? What are you trying to say right now? You want to hurt me for not liking some guy? Are you still there? Daniel, I'm serious. This isn't funny anymore. Open up. Is that seriously you at the door? Yes. Are you alone? Are you? Yeah, but my dad and brother are on their way back. Are you sure about that? You know how things happen nowadays. Are you threatening my family now? Well, we let ourselves in since you were taking so long. You're in my house? If you're looking at the security cameras, you'll see us waving before they get turned off. Daniel, what's happened to you? I'm sorry, okay? I'm really sorry. I bet he's great. I support you. I don't believe you. No, really. You don't even know me. I've never seen this side of you. That's why. Seriously. You don't even know if this is really Danielle texting you. Let's talk about this. I hear you whimpering. That's my dad ready to attack you. I'll call him off. Just leave, okay? We took care of him, so stop lying. I'm not. Doesn't sound like you're a very good friend. What did you do? Answer me. I like the taste of blood as much as the next girl. Stop stalling. The blood of your boyfriend tastes sweet. Shut up and come out. Getting nervous? Lawson, is, is this you playing with me now? Go back down the stairs and tell me if sweet Lawson would have left his blood on the floor that way. No, Lawson, I said I would do it to her. She was my friend. I still am, Buttercup. I can throw his body onto the floor for you to see if it would make you feel better. You sick bitch. That's no way to talk about your BFF, Danny. You killed him. I loved him. Never underestimate your pay. Your prey. The end. Who the hell was the villain in this? It was Daniel. And then it was... Oh, stop. So, Daniel is the big villain. Alright. If you guys like that episode, please drop a like and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.